To the women and the men who marched on Washington and over 600 cities, not only in America, but in the United States of America, I want to say something to each and every one of you. You stood up for the rights of women. But in a larger sense, you stood up for the rights of all humanity. And I applaud you so hard and so long that it would take me years to quit clapping. Now let me be a realist, a pragmatist, if you will. Even though what you have done was historic, and I hope that each and every one of you will realize how profoundly grateful we are. And I am not yelling at you. Believe me, it's just the way my voice is at times. So if I sound as if I am, trust me, I am not. I am proud of each and every one of you. But the sad fact is, we need to keep marching. We need to blockade streets just because of the sheer numbers. Because they can demand that we have, in our own nation, the United States of America, and of course the nations around the globe, they try to outlaw protesting. And even here in America now, for the last about 20 years, they've done this, that, and the other to stop us. So this is how we win. Let me give you today a bit of a road map. I will need your input. You will need mine. And we together, in America and around the globe, are going to finally, for the first time in history, we are going to defeat all those who have enslaved and abused and made us servants. And make no mistake, when we have a, a person occupying the White House, who witnesses over a million people, in fact, the truth is, many millions around the globe protesting him and his policies. And yet, he does not acknowledge it. He does not change his ways. He, in fact, triples down. We learn from this, if we are fully aware, that we must take more action. And so it is with this that I tell you we have got to have a battle plan. A legal, ethical, peaceful, and yes, financial battle plan. I implore anyone who hears this, share it with those marchers. Let us make this one of the largest consistent movements in the history of humanity. Everyone has a dog in the fight, to use that term. And this is not about being anti-Trump. Yes, many of us are anti-Trump. I, for one, do not like evil and his actions and the actions of many is evil. For those who are atheists and don't believe in evil, let us just say it's negative. It's hardcore. It's mean. Whatever words you need. So I want to unite with the most conservative Republican. I want to unite with the, the gay and the straight. And so on and so forth. Let me say this and let me say it clearly. Most humans on earth are slaves. Most humans on earth are slaves. We still have physical slavery. We have it in America. We still do. We still have trafficking of women and children and all of the above. But this is not the podcast to fear. This is a podcast to let the world know that we're here. 
And you may be an atheist, but even you may want to hear me preaching. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about teaching. I got something to say to each and every one of you. We're here to win. So, marchers, Donald Trump will not listen to you. Dictators and governments around the globe will not. So, here's what we do. We march, 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 march as many times and with as many millions and in even billions around the globe. We march. We fax. We call. We email. We text. We real mail. And we do it every single day. Every single week. Maybe it won't be your turn to be on activism call or activism alert. So your turn will come within the next week. And we do it as a way of life. We call, we fast, we petition, on and offline, you name it. And we march on the streets. And also, we must suffer. We must suffer and sacrifice. We must do days of absence. Work stoppages and all the like. And you might say to yourself, I'm not willing to do that. Then you will remain a slave and a servant. We do work stoppages. And we do everything ethical and legal and peaceful that we can. Why work stoppages? Why blockading the streets from the massive amounts of marches? Why? Because that is going to be one element in our financial warfare. You heard me. We're going to be legal. We're going to be ethical. We're going to be peaceful. And we're going to be financial. But make no mistake, we are at war, my friends. We are at war. Legally, ethically, peacefully, and financially. But here's what we will do. We will take off days of work. We will shut down cities. We will shut down entire states and countries if need be. And even if you don't want to do that, you can still join the Army, the Marines, the Navy and the Air Force and the Royal Guards and you name it wherever you are. And you will hurt them worse than a thousand marches with a billion people. Because we are no longer going after them legally, peacefully, ethically. We are not just going to march, going to protest, going to call. We're not going to ask them to change. We're going to make them change. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, we're about to find out. The God is money. I say again, their God is money. They only care about money. Donald Trump is one. We do not hate Donald Trump. We hate the policy. We do not hate the party, the Republican Party. We hate their policy. We do not hate those in the Democratic Party that hasn't worked for the people. We hate their inaction. Or their part, their policy. We do not hate any government, any person. We hate their actions or their policy. But now, the great reckoning is about to come to pass. We will stay home from work, school, or whatever. But if you cannot afford it, if you need the money, I understand. And you are a champion, and you're going to act like a champion. And how are you going to make leaders of the country be afraid of you? <laughs> oh, oh, believe me, they're going to be begging you to, to relent legally and peacefully and ethically. How? Fifty to a thousand. I mean, you will spend fifty 
to five thousand or more dollars a week in a month, and obviously tens of thousands of dollars less per year. Not just one day, not even one year, but for the rest of our lives, if need be, until they relax. Fifty to five thousand dollars for every American, for every person around the globe, wherever you are. Imagine if every single American that protested on January 21st, 2017, imagine every one of those Americans spending 50 to $5,000 less, not just once, but for all time until they relent it. We would be looking at billions upon billions of dollars a week not going into the economies of our country or any country. Will it hurt us in the short run? Yes. But oh, oh, in the long run, it would empower every person on earth. For you see, their God is money. And taking away billions or hundreds of billions of dollars of their money away would wake up Donald Trump, the Republican and Democratic parties, and every government on earth in a way that humanity never expected. We take away their money, and they will listen. We block their businesses from operating, taking even more money away, and they will listen. We bombard them with phone calls, emails. We bombard them with texts. And we bombard them with every manner of communication in addition to blockading streets and spending less money. And they will listen. In fact, I will make a prediction for you that will be as guaranteed as the air that you breathe. I guarantee you that if we get together millions upon millions of people to commit to $50 a week or a month a person and we take billions or hundreds of billions of dollars out of the world's economies, I promise you Donald Trump will change his policy so fast you will think he is the most liberal man in the history of the planet. I promise you the Republican Party will give us universal health care, universal education. Heck, they may even give us $25,000 a person just to go spend it because they got their Fritos creamed. Now, you think this is idealistic. You may think it's impossible. But I say unto you, through God and the Creator, or if you're a scientist, through the number of women and the number of men and the number of human lives that are on this planet, it's if each and every person in America and around the globe spent $50 less per week, $50 less per week, those who can do it, this world and every government on earth would plead and beg you to forgive them. Would plead and beg you to relent. We do it legally. We do it ethically. We do it peacefully. But we do it financially. And I promise you, we will have the greatest health care system in every nation. But in America... We will have universal education, universal health care. They will get rid of those loans and those $3 trillion of debt or whatever it may be. Now, you may not believe this. So I challenge each and every one of you, each and every American, each and every patriot who is making less than $500,000 a year, if you earn less than $500,000 a year, I ask each and every American that is earning less than $500,000 a year, do this. If you can afford to spend a lot less, than, I mean, more than 50 
dollars less. Let me clarify it because it sounds confusing. If you have a budget where you maybe spend a thousand or two thousand a week or whatever it is, instead of spending fifty, I mean fifty dollars less, spend ten thousand dollars less. I don't know your budget. I don't know your budget. But if you can afford, for example, to spend a thousand dollars a month less, do it. Five thousand, ten thousand, whatever it is. If you can afford only to spend twenty dollars less per week, per month, do that also. I want the extreme poor in this fight. Legally, peacefully, and ethically. I want you in this fight if all that you can do is march. Work to make marches. Days of absence. Faxing. Calling. Petitioning on and offline. Texting. You name it. But make no mistake, the greatest impact that we will have is the financial one. And the reason is, that is their God. They do not care about you. As a matter of fact, my fellow Americans, whether you are aware of, this, aware of this or not, you are not called a citizen. You are not called an American. You are a number to them, and you are nothing more than a number. You're not even a human being to them. You are a consumer. Now, you may not believe me, but you will witness it yourself. Go to any financial website. Pay attention to the Wall Street Journal. Or you pay attention to the, the business news reports. Consumer spending. Consumer this. Consumer that. Not American spending. Not citizens. Consumers. So if we are only money to them, we will spend billions and then trillions of dollars less money. And if Donald Trump wants to act like the buffoon that he's acting like, let him act like a buffoon. Because I can assure you, the wealthiest people on earth that have donated to him and they brought him up there and make no mis mistake, they did. Those who've empowered the Republicans and put billions of dollars to get our elections, let's just say challenged, and install those people there, and even the Democrats or whatever party, wherever you are, all of those billionaires and millionaires that has put them in there. When we commit to spending less, I mean, fifty dollars less per person per every American, when we do that, I guarantee you. Those men and those women who are losing the millions or the billions or the hundreds of billions of dollars, I guarantee you they will call on Donald Trump. They will visit the White House. They will visit Congress in ways that has never been in history of America. It will be unprecedented. So like John Kennedy said so many years ago, my fellow Americans, I, Albert Castro, ask each man and each woman that earn $500,000 or less, I ask you to commit now and maybe to the, for the rest of your life of spending at least $50 less per week. And I ask you to share this podcast or whichever way you hear this, if it's on video, if you read it on text, I ask you to make this movement happen. I ask you to con contact the organizers of the Women's March. I ask you to contact the organizers of the African Americans March, Black and Men and Women's March back in the 80s and the 90s. I ask you as an American, whether you are a Republican, whether you are a Democrat, an Independent, I don't care if you're a Libertarian, I don't care who you are, what you are, I only care that you are. And if you are earning less than $500,000, or even if you are a multi-billionaire and you just don't like the inhumanity that's going on, 
I ask you to commit every penny that you can in reducing your weekly, your monthly, and your yearly spending. And in return, I guarantee you, they will hear you in D.C. They will hear you in Mumbai. They will hear you in Moscow. They will hear you everywhere. This is not just an American movement. This is a global one. No longer will we watch as generations of people earn less money but end up in much greater debt. We will no longer allow them to enslave the American people. We will not let them enslave any people. We will not relent. We will march, but we will spend less. We will petition, but we will go away from work for days of absence. We will call, but we will wake them up legally, peacefully, financially, and ethically. And when they still do not listen, we will spend so little money that the economy starts coughing up like a heart attack is about to happen. And then, when this happens, every member of every Congress, every Parliament, or any other government will relent. And they will listen to the will of the people. No longer will the lobbyists win. You, my friend, will win. Now, I know you don't believe. But would you have believed before last week? That in 600 cities globally, women and men marched. January the 20th, 20, uh, January the 21st, 2017 will go down in history. Each and every woman and man and child that marched. You have become instantaneous heroes of humanity. And I have had Humanity Matters Live, the series since 2004, or 2004. And I have had HumanityMatters.org since 2004, and Humanity Matters Podcast since 2007. And I have never witnessed such a remarkably fantastic and satisfactory, I mean, satisfying statement that humanity really does matter, that women's lives really does matter, and that men and women and children really do matter. Now we must follow it up by spending less. Now we must follow it up by continuing to march. Now we must follow it up by never relenting. Oh, we will be legal. We will be peaceful, and we will be ethical. But oh, 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 we will so hurt them so bad. Because the money is the God. And when this becomes a viral movement, like the Women's March, when every man, woman, and child in America that is earning $500,000 or less per year, or even are multi-billionaires, but they believe in what we are standing for, when they join us, there will be no president, there will be no dictator, there will be no leader, there will be no member of Congress, there will be no member or owner of industries or businesses or corporations or even universities. There will be no one on earth when we unite in this fight. There will be no one on earth that can resist us, that can stop us. For if every American were to spend $50 less per week, the White House would change overnight with their attitudes. So whether it is a Democratic liberal or Republican conservative, 
When we make this movement a reality, every Caucasian, every black, every Asian, every Muslim, every anybody will have income on a scale not seen in human history. The money is there, my fellow Americans. The money is there, my fellow Indians. My Filipinos, my Cubans, my Italians, my Chinese, my Japanese, my Vietnamese, my Koreans, my Turks, my Iranians, my Jamaicans, yes, my Mexicans, and yes, my Canadians. People, wherever you hear this, whatever your situation is, if you commit, not just for one day, but for the rest of your life, until they relent, and we make this viral, I promise you, there will not be a government on this earth that will abuse you again. For their money is their God. And therefore, we will take away their money. I want you to hear this. And when you do, I don't care if you are the most quiet person, soft-spoken person on the face of the face of the earth. I want you to hear me. And I have something I want you to do for yourself. You see, I've not just started Humanity Matters Live. My movement hasn't just started. It didn't even start on January the 21st, 2017. I have been doing this for 13 years. Because you do matter. And here's the little secret. Even those who are enslaving us matter. They matter to someone. And I don't hate anyone. Their actions, yes. I will protect my people, yes. But I don't hate. But I want you to do something. You may be the most soft-spoken person in the history of this planet. And you've been abused. You've been enslaved. You've become a servant. Americans voted for Trump. Out of a lot of them, out of what they don't have, out of being lied to, believing the propaganda, and in a number of different reasons, out of hatred, racism, sexism, xenophobic, what have you. But at its very core, each and every one of you, I also love you. I don't like what you have done, but I love you too, spiritually. Yes, my fellow Americans. We must love those who hate us. For when we do, eventually, they will love us. But more than that, I want you to hear me, my fellow liberals and conservatives. We should not be hating each other. We should team up. And I'll tell you why. The reason... This country is divided. It's mainly because of lack of income. Think about it. Why were so many people ang angry? Lack of income. Lack of opportunity. And both parties pit races and all types of people against each other. So now, my soft-spoken conservative, soft-spoken Liberals, each and every one of you, I want you to unleash the lion and the dragon in you. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to say out loud, I will commit to spending $50 or more or less. Now those in extreme poverty, spend $3 less. Spend $10 less. 
if every American will spend at least $10 less every week, and that's if necessary for the rest of their life, or every Indian or anywhere you are, if every one of your countrymen and women will commit to this, I promise you, you will never again be mistreated by a government or even corporation. But now, the most important part of this, for the most soft-spoken, soft, pacifist, I need you to unleash your inner tiger. And I want you to say this to me. I mean, say, say this out loud, and I don't care who hears you. I want you to say this and mean it. I am somebody, and I will not be abused. I am somebody, and I will not be abused. I am somebody, and I will not. Be abused. Women matter and they will not be subjugated. Black Americans, Muslim Americans, and all Americans matter. White Americans matter. Anybody and everybody. And we will not hate each other. Now I want you once again to say, I am an American and I will not be abused. And if God, excuse me, if money is their God, we will take away their money. My fellow Americans and people around the globe, whatever nation you reside in, you will substitute, but you will join the fight. And I want you once again to say these words with me and shout it out. If money is their God, we shall take away their money. If money is their God, that's my cat, she agrees. If money is their God, we shall take away their money. If money is their God, we shall take away their money. That is my cat, the stage of crystal. Ladies and gentlemen, she is a cat. And even she agrees. What about you? Are you truly a patriot of America or any nation? You want to see how quickly Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump, or any leader of any nation will change their ways. All you need to do is commit to spending more. Remember, their God is money. And since money is their God, we will take away their money. Legally, ethically, peacefully, and financially. Now, if any of you want to see how that works, I'll give you an example. Let us say that you go to a big box store weekly or monthly. You put out $250 a month or a week, whatever it is. You're going to need to sacrifice. You're going to have to live off of a budget of 200 every week and every month. Maybe your children will have to do without. Maybe you. But it won't be long. If every American, if every person from Morocco, every person from Honduras, or wherever you may be, if we all spend less, all of us, we'll see a profound change on this planet. Speaking 
exclusively to my fellow Americans in this context. We cannot afford to allow the Republican Party to destroy our foundation of this nation and what we fought and many died for. The protections in work and environment. Environmental protections. National parks. The water that you drink. The food that you eat. The jobs that you work at. Every aspect. The education that you receive or lack thereof. Everything is under attack. And I want to say this clearly. I don't like the policies of the Republican Party. But what Donald Trump is doing, even those in the, the Republican Party, want to stand up, want to shut him down. Yes, that they need us. We not only have to back the Democrats and the independents, we have to pack. We have to have the backs of even Paul Ryan. I don't agree with his extremist type of agenda. That even he is innocent compared to the things Donald Trump is doing. And I say this to my conservative Republicans out there. You may be in love with Donald Trump. That if you do exactly what he is doing and how it will change your life for the worse, you would not be. I implore every extreme conservative who is making $500,000 or less 